Welcome back to another episode of Bourbon and Ash. Come join us as we explore the world of bourbon and cigars, which offer a rich tapestry of flavors, aromas, and experience. Stay tuned as we go turkey hunting, wild turkey hunting. Me contaron muchas cosas de ti, pero eres más igual puta que yo. Es de ayer, no es de hablar. Suelta el cel pa' perrear, pa' tu y te equipa en tono. All right, welcome back. As I said in the promo, Wild We're Turkey. Be, Wild Turkey does have different lines. Mm -hmm. um, they have the rare breed line. They also have the long branch. They have their Wild Turkey 101. Mm -hmm. Their Russell's is another one. And this one pays tribute to a duo uh, of the master distillers. It's a father and son team. Uh, it dates back to 1954 when his his father started at the mm -hmm. uh, distillery. Uh, really, really exciting that they were able to name it after them, right? To give them tribute. So, yeah. What what else can you tell us about it, Trisha? So the one unique thing that uh, Jimmy and Eddie like to make everybody know is that they didn't just happen upon the job; they actually worked their way up. Jimmy, the father, started by sweeping floors there and learning how everything goes and how the whole um, distillery, the everything works. Yes, the whole operation. And his son also started the same way. He didn't just go right into distilling or whatever. So they both have worked their way up the ladder and now they're a duo team. And this one is specifically in honor for, of them. So this is uh, the Russell's 10-year, which is a small batch. Small batch, correct. And there is nothing younger than 10 years, correct? Right. Yeah. So it's comprised uh, of 10, 11, uh, more than 10. The mm -hmm. least, the least, the least amount, is 10. Is, amount is 10 years old. Yes. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm excited to, to try it. You guys uh, grab your glass there in front of you. Thank you. And let's, before we uh, do our tasting, Let's do a quick uh, cheers to all of our subscribers. Anybody that's watching, we do this for you. Uh, we enjoy it. We hope that you gain information from it. Again, we appreciate everybody taking the time. We hope that uh, you're enjoying our content. Para Dios, tu familia y tus amigos. Salud. 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 So this one, um, I think is uh, a 90 proof. Correct. Do you know what the mash bill is? Um, it is 75% corn. Yes. 13% 13 rye. And 12% malted barley. Okay. Nice. So I'm expecting a little bit of spice, maybe. A little bit. I got a lot of vanilla, a lot of caramel. A lot of, a lot of vanilla, a lot oh, of, yes. I get the butterscotch. I yeah. get that little uh, butterscotch I finish. There is butterscotch, you're correct. Interesting. Very sweet. A lot of oak. A lot of oak. I do, I do. Almost a graham cracker. I get the smell of the smell. graham crackers. Graham crackers. Yeah, yeah, the graham, graham crackers. crackers. Wow, that's really smooth. I was expecting. Really smooth. I was expecting some burn. I got I got no burn. There's a little burn, but it goes away really fast. Yeah, I didn't Just get any. Just the very forward. Yeah. It's oh yeah, that's that's very tasty. Very nice. Ooh. Oh yeah, oaky. Little you get char, that explosion. Little. What we say roasted like marshmallows. Like Yeah, marsh. Yeah, little. Yeah, little. Yeah, little Except really smores. Surprise! How sweet that the is. Chocolate. I, I get the, I get the toasted the, the toasted marshmallow taste yes. and the graham cracker yeah, and the graham, graham cracker the graham we don't cracker. get no Hershey's yeah, no. oh maybe no. we should have done a chocolate pair. right oh, oh, that would be really yeah. good the chocolate that's, that's for yeah. afterwards stay tuned that's right <laughs> <laughs> little milk chocolate yeah that's uh that's really really good I'm I'm surprised how sweet that is it is it it's is very sweet. sweet the the feel the the mouth feel I think it's fantastic mm -hmm. there's a little bit of spice it. It hits for a few seconds, uh, depositates really quickly, so it's a lighter feel mm -hmm. on the in the mouth, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I think being 90 proof, it helps with that. Um, it does have somewhat of a long finish. I get a little bit of that, like, leathery, a little leather. I get a little bit of that wood. I like it. It's fantastic. It's very good. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is really good, and this is this is in my wheelhouse as far as the summer drinks. It it's, is. It's, it's, it is. It's really mild. It's easy to drink neat. I, I don't. I don't know that I would make a cocktail with this one. I think just maybe plain yeah, or with an ice cube would right. be perfect for the or summer. Sprite. 
A little bit of Sprite, yeah, that definitely sweetened the Sprite up for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's really good. That's great. And one of the, the, the things, it's uh, readily available. Mm -hmm. um, there's no allocation on it, at least not yet. And the the MSRP is about 55 bucks. No okay. way. Yeah. That is. For a 10 year. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. It yeah. is. Yeah. I was not batch. expecting that. Yeah. We, we could, uh, you know, I was talking to a guy how he likes to kind of build his value for buck, but he's a, a scotch drinker. Mm. And the way he runs his numbers is price divided by years, and it tells him what it is per year. Oh. And he says, you know, the sweet spot's somewhere around $9, $9 a year. Mm -hmm. He goes, if he can get in that $9, he goes, some of the 12 and under, they're, if you're somewhere between $6 and $7, that's a good bargain. Uh, this one here, if we did the math, it'd be $5.50 a year. Okay. That is pretty That, that sounds awesome. like a good dar sounds like <laughs> bargain to a, me, right? We need to convert the Scotch guy. Yeah, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, well, um, are we ready to uh, do the B&A famous uh, review? More. I want more. Oh, you want that's, some more? That's what I heard. You can do it after the B&A thing. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I drank mine all gone. Oh, all my. The review. You oh begin. My. Yeah. Please do um, start. <laughs> look, any anything that's really... Turkey's out of the hat. Yeah, <laughs> turkey's out. I, 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 uh, I appreciate uh, a good bourbon. I appreciate a, a reasonably priced good bourbon. Mm -hmm. At fifty-five dollars MSRP at ninety proof, um, being a small batch, uh, being sweet without having that punch in the gut, you know, burn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna go ahead and easily say this is gonna be eight and a half. Okay. Nice. All right. How about you, ladies? Who wants to go first? Uh, I'll go. Okay. Um, it's right up my wheelhouse. Super sweet. It does have a little bit of burn, but it's. It definitely fades real quick, and it kind of adds a little kick to how sweet it is. It's uh, it's pretty darn good, so I'm going to go nine. Oh, all right. Okay. 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 I absolutely absolutely love it, and I don't know whether to give it a nine or a ten. Ooh, oh. I really like it. <laughs> well, you okay. give it whatever you want. I mean, it's think. got a lot of flavor. Oh, it does. It's very, uh, it's really, really um, like not spicy, not too spicy, mm -hmm. but not not too spicy. If that makes the you know, double well, the negative, perfect there. amount of spice. Yes, <laughs> it's the perfect amount of spice. The flavors are super bold, and it's very sweet, which is also nice. I guess I'll give it a nine and a half because okay. I really, I really it's like not it. Not quite ten. Yeah. But it's like, yeah. Right. <laughs> so I will start off by saying that I do uh, agree with you. It's a very complex the the mouth feel and the taste and the aromas they're not overpowering mm -hmm. they're really subtle but yet very affirmative they're they're there it's not like you kind of smell them it's you get a good smell and then on the mouth feel i think it delivers especially for for this season you know i i'm always looking to find the the bourbon that i could uh enjoy when it's 100 degrees out right and then the color it's a very pretty amber color, mm -hmm. um, kind of like honey, almost a honey color. Uh, very, very pretty. I, I'd have to give it an eight, eight and a half. Okay. Yeah. I'm surprised uh, that it, it isn't darker being being a 10 year. I've, I'm just comparing it on memory based on other 10 years that I really, okay. really like. And it's, it is on the lighter side. So, it's you know, probably to get it to the 90 it, proof. It, it, there you go. So yeah. it's, it's, it's got to get some, uh, Dilution going on, so they dilute. I don't know. Maybe that they're coming off at 120 to get it down 30 points. That's that's pretty. Yeah, yeah it's, it's significant. It's probably but, like so smooth. Yeah, it's really yeah. smooth. Oh, no, it's it's fantastic. It is amazing. And hey, this weekend's going to be triple digits. So right, uh, I'm looking yeah, forward to that. For yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you guys uh, enjoy Russell 10? Have you had it before? Uh, if you have and you like it, or if there's uh, maybe another one that's. Uh, you think that we should try uh please leave that comment down below we'll review it yeah we're absolutely. looking forward to trying anything new right. if it's available um if you like our content please hit that like and that subscribe and uh, you know as always please share our content it really helps uh, get the word out we're trying to grow our channel and we appreciate everybody that's uh that's so far subscribed yeah. let's go ahead and dive into the cigars uh 
It's my father. It's their Connecticut. Um, do you know anything about these guys? I don't. This is the first time I've ever heard of it. Okay. So this is uh, one of the cigars off of the uh, My Father uh, lineup. Uh, my father is uh, Jose Pepin he goes Garcia. By Pepin. That's he goes his, by Pepin. His nickname. Uh, that's his nickname. Uh, Garcia. These are from his uh, production. Uh, one of the things about this uh, particular cigar, they all of the tobacco except for the wrapper is from Nicaragua and it comes from their farms. Mm -hmm. Okay, the wrapper is from Ecuador. They source, outsource the wrapper and they, they had a big challenge. They had to age when Pepin was trying to uh, reach a certain profile on this, on this tobacco, they found that they had to age it a little longer and let it kind of ferment. Oh. Um, so that's what kind of makes it special in my, in my perspective. Uh, it is a Connecticut, so it's gonna be a lighter. It's not gonna be a super heavy hitting uh, cigar. I like how you look right so at you've had this be be you've had this before. <laughs> I have not had this Never. before. I've had some of the, uh, my father lineups. Uh, this one here, uh, based on what the write-ups and what they're talking about, uh, I felt like it would really complement the, uh, the Russell's 10. So hopefully I am correct and it does do uh do it justice what do you think babe well the presentation is beautiful oh it's absolutely gorgeous right? I mean, the wrappers the wrappers, the wrappers are yeah. so they look so luxurious with yeah, the gold I do. and then this is actually ribbon do you notice that? yeah yeah, yeah it's a, a nice real actual ribbon, ribbon that they nice ribbon. And what is the msrp on this stick uh this is a 10 11 dollar msrp stick not too bad uh you got the the JG for Jose Garcia on his uh, ring here. Where I do got you a see couple. That at? Right on the very front. Right here. Oh, it's the right. bottom one where your oh, fingers that's touching. Oh, to me. That MF like in the very front. Very colorful. Yeah, that the MF in the front is very pretty. It is. It almost looks like it's got a picture it, of it. It looks very thing. artistic, okay? Very yeah. artistic. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say that I'm hoping that this will do the uh, the Russell's tens a um, a solid insofar as a good matchup and it complements it. How long has this company been around? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I don't know how long when when they actually started. I know they're all farm grown. It's their tobacco, except again, like I said, the um, the uh, the wrappers from uh, Ecuador. Yeah, it's it's an easy draw, and it is really really mild. Wow, it's light. It is. It is light. It does. It's got a wood oaky, on uh, oaky necessarily, but wood flavor mm -hmm. to it, and a little bit of leather. Like I do get leather at the finish. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just an easy smoke. It's not it's not uh, it's not overbearing. It's not full of flavors right going to jump out but it's just it's just smooth kind of like the bourbon we chose tonight smooth right oh but there's so much flavors in that bourbon very true so much there are but i'm getting a little um pepper to it do you taste a little pepper in there uh -huh. like red pepper yeah but it's Something. not it's not spicy but it's just mm -hmm. kind of a pepper flavor to it yeah, I get, I, I just get like a wood and then leather. The leather's definitely coming through. Mm -hmm. That is the strongest flavor. Mm -hmm. No, it's easy. It's, it's, it's delicious in, in my opinion. It's an easy smoke. Looks so far to be burning really well. Looks like it's tightly wrapped. And this was the uh, Ecuadorian wrapper. It is. And everything is. else is Honduras. It's from their farms yeah. too Nicaragua. though. Nicaragua, no, not Honduras, Nicaragua, and it's from their farms, which is a big deal in the uh, tobacco world. Absolutely. Uh, it, you know, where they're sourcing, and these guys have been, obviously they've been doing it for a while, to have had their own um, plantations, mm -hmm. 
and they're producing with their own uh, leaves. Yeah. So that, that's, that says a lot. I think that this is definitely um, a good cigar for a hot day. It would make a definitely a middle middle of the day, an afternoon cigar, and you know, breakfast, pair it up. breakfast cigar yeah, after coffee. Almost, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. I could, I, could, I could easily smoke that after a good cup of Joe. Um, having smoked as much as I have, uh, I will again start the review. I I enjoy it. Um, um, it does have a lot of the natural uh, flavors, like that leather and the wood. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, I will say this is uh, going to be easily an eight for me. Um, yeah, I mean it's 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 a fantastic cigar for uh, for what you get. You said it was ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ten eleven bucks. Yeah, so it's a fantastic cigar for what you get. It is light, mild. Um, I prefer the ones with a little sweet tip to it. But that being said, um, it's it is really mild and easy to smoke. So yeah, and this is something that you can just sit and relax with it's not going to overpower whatever you're doing right um it should it should balance out pretty well so. um i'll probably give it a, a seven yeah well i have to agree it is it, it is the draw is very easy it's very well made I mean, there's some that are not so easy oh absolutely and um it's ashing very well super oh, I like even your ash. <laughs> oh good. my <laughs> so um and it's very light mm -hmm. compared to some so I'd probably give it a six and a half. Okay. Six and a half. Okay. <laughs> she almost went ahead. <laughs> almost. One of these um, days, maybe I'll find one that's a ten. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so for you guys out there uh, that have not had uh, my father, or if you have not had a Connecticut, I'm going to tell you that to me this is an eight and a half. In the round that we're talking about, in so far as being a Connecticut being a an easy smoking it smokes really well uh it drags really easy as you guys were uh pointing out so i'm gonna give it an eight and a half um it is a fantastic cigar i enjoy it i would definitely put it right up there on my top 10 repertoires nice. so yeah i i was very 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 well pleased and i was even more pleased when it did it doesn't overpower it actually complements you know sometimes we get the uh, the the yin yang right they're totally opposite but they bring out good things out of each other when we've done some matches i think this one complements it by aligning to that light smooth light feeling you know it's a lighter feeling i i, I think it did great okay that's a great segue so let's go ahead and pair it uh, with our Russell's 10 year. Let's do it. Uh, we got, you know, the natural flavors, the, the, the earthy, the leather, mm -hmm. the wood. Um, and then we've got this sweet, vanilla vibrant caramel. caramel vanilla. So maybe that uh, will kind of bring out the best in both worlds. Oh, it's spicier. The bourbon it does spicier. bring out some spice. It's spicier. It brings out some spice, even though we've acclimated our tongues to it but it's still really it accentuates that however it still has that nice finish and i can get a little bit of that that woody that oaky taste mm -hmm. um and i didn't lose much of the uh that the marshmallow the toasted marshmallow yeah. taste See, it pushed the vanilla caramel back for me mm -hmm. and brought up the oak and mm -hmm. leather mm -hmm. taste. So yep. it's not as sweet as it was when we had there it before. Yeah, that's kind of what happened. Yeah. Well, there you guys go. To me. We brought a cigar that uh, was a little bit on the easy, the light side. We paired it to the Connecticut. We paired it with a, a sweeter, uh, zestier bourbon, full mm -hmm. flavor. And it brought out more of the spice uh, in the bourbon and it uh, accentuated the different flavors bringing them more oh yeah robusto more full on the cigar now yeah and and this is this is exactly why we do it have you, i mean if you guys are new to the game and and you're looking for uh, a great cigar and a great beginner bourbon 
I highly recommend uh, leaving, uh, looking down at the links below. We'll have the information uh, for both these products. Um, I, I think it's, it's a fantastic pairing. It is. It's, it's great. It's not going to break the bank by yeah. any means. And you could uh, have your compadre over and have a couple of cigars and it will be a fantastic evening. Yeah, absolutely. As absolutely. it has been for us. <laughs> oh, well, and one thing we forgot to mention that um, if you're in Kentucky, in Lawrenceburg, and you go by uh, Wild Turkey, their visitor center is now up and going. Oh, yeah, so yeah. It's been closed the last couple right. of years. For so we've been out there three different times here recently. Mm -hmm. And the visitor center had been closed uh, for almost two years. Believe it or not, it's been almost two years. Uh, but apparently they are now up and running. We did attend their little uh, gift shop, gift shop yes. visitor, visitor center that they had. They're kind of a, a makeshift while they were doing all this. But yeah, absolutely. One of the things, Zach, that you uh, had mentioned to us uh, a little bit about, uh, is it Freddie? The Jim. Jim. Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy. Jimmy Russell. Jimmy likes to uh, hang out at the visitor, visitor center. I've had a couple of friends tell me about that, and they've actually seen him, walked up to him. So... You see a guy in a uh, rocking chair in that visitor center, and 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 I may be wrong, but when we were there in that makeshift, there was a center, gentleman there. There was an old dude with them. sitting there, yeah. and I guarantee that was Jimmy. That probably was. And he says that oh. I mean he's just a laid back distiller. You won't even know him from Joe if yeah. you walked in there. Yeah. But if if you see a picture of him and you happen to see him there, get an autograph, get sign one of your sign bottles, your bottle, yeah. or take a picture with him. You know, it's we're just. All three. It's, yeah, it's a pretty He'll cool. He'll sign your kids if you bring them. That's sure. right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys, it's time for the uh, famous whiskey wheel. Whiskey wheel. We're going the to spin wheel. the wheel and see what uh, bottle we have in store for next week's review. The wishing whiskey wheel. The, wish, the triple W. The wishing whiskey wheel. Ah, uh, you like <laughs> that? I know you like wheel. it. The triple W. Okay, look at this. Here we go. Tom Town Distillery. Uh, Tom Town. Right. So that's a local that's Tom. That's a local Kansas yeah. City. Yeah, Kansas City. Uh, Kansas City. Distillery. Yeah. We happened to do a tour there, uh, I think, about a month ago. Yeah, Somewhere. Right. Probably a little less. Yeah. That. Yeah. Probably less. You're right. Um, so You're better they have you. a variety of, of products. I guess they do. we'll pick one that's uh, readily available uh, for uh, tasting and, and just stay tuned again for next week. Uh, we hope that uh, you guys enjoyed our content, and we look forward to seeing you again on the next episode. Meanwhile, please always drink, drink responsibly. responsibly.